Hey guys, and welcome to a new video on this computer vision tutorial. In this video here, we're going to talk about the most common errors in OpenCV. So I've based these, this video here on the comments that I've got on my section here throughout the last year, the last two years, where I've got a lot of different kind of comments on one specific error. But first of all, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here. Only 10% of you guys watching these videos here are actually like subscribing to the channel. It's just a single click and it just helped me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. You can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel with a small monthly fee. Everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. Also, if you're a member of the channel, I can help you out in your own projects. If you have some problems and so on, I can help you out and give some guidance if you're a member of the channel. So thank you guys. So let's just jump straight into the code here. This will be a rather short video where I'm just going to show you the most common error that I've received or like seen in OpenCV from you guys here watching the videos on my channel. A lot of these comments here act like occurs in the comment sections. Again, you can comment under this video here if you had this error here before and you tried to sit down, debug your code for like an hour or two hours. You couldn't find out, like figure out what is the problem, what is the error in your code. And then you just find out that it's just specifying the correct path to your like inbreeder or like if you're reading in a video file or something like that, you don't specify the exact path to that file that you want to load in and that causes an error so you can't debug your code you can't find the error uh, what algorithms do you like call like what methods do you call in the wrong way what are the arguments why, why doesn't it work and so on but here again i'm just going to show you a couple of examples and then i'm going to show you the most common error afterwards uh, which i got on the camera calibration video where we load in like several images into the python script uh, with different kind of like image paths and so on but first of all here, we're just going to read in an image from this path. So this is the most common error where you don't specify the path uh, correctly or like you don't specify the path correctly when you do inread or you want to create like a video capture of a video file. Again, most often like people don't specify the whole path. You can also do that, but it will only be like the relative path to your Python script. So your Python script needs to be in the same folder or like in the same structure, folder structure as you specify here in the path. So if you don't have any path that's about here, you need the Python script to be in the exact same, or like you need this image here to be in the exact same folder as your Python script. And also if you're working with uh, Linux, uh, Mac OS, uh, Ubuntu, uh, different kinds of distributions, Windows and so on, you need to specify the path in different ways. So often, just to make sure that the correct is set perf uh, perfectly and correctly, I'm just specifying the whole path, like for all the different kind of like operating systems I'm working with. So here we're just specifying the whole path to the image. Then we don't need to care about where the image on our computer um, and so on. Like is it on the right, correct hard drive? Is, is it the, the same folder as the Python script and so on? Also, if you're changing between different kinds of scripts and so on. So first of all, I'm just making sure that the, that the path here is the full path and not the relative path to the Python script. So here we're just going to re read an image. We're going to call a meet and blur and then we're just going to display the image. But first of all here, I want to specify the path uh, so it's not correct. So here we're just going to read delete a K and then we're going to run the program and see what error do we get because this is the error here that people just, they basically just copy paste this error here and then it just paste it into my comment section and they say, uh, what is this error here? I can't figure it out. I can't debug my code. Is it my algorithm method? What is the argument to the function and so on. But here we can actually see that the source here is empty. If I just move it up here a bit, if I just scroll out here a bit, we can see the, the actual like, error. Or if I just take my camera up here a bit. So then we can actually see that when we call this meet and blur function, it has nothing to do with the meet and blur function. We can just see here that the input argument is source dot empty. So here the argument that we pass into media blur is actually like, just empty. So that is what it, what it means. So people just copy paste this error here, paste it in my comment section and say, I can't figure it out. So again, most errors I've seen on my channel, like all over 90% of the errors I've seen is, is actually like due to not specifying the path correctly when you read in your images or like files, when you're working in code with either like computer vision, deep learning and so on. So the next error here that I'm going to show you. So here I'm just going to call this method here correctly. So we actually like load it in. And then if we just, just do it in this way here, and then we just try to read it in. So we can read it in. We try to call the function. We can also try to not call a function here and read in the wrong image again, or like not specify it here correctly. Then we can also see we get an error here that the size of our image that we try to im show uh, has a width, like it doesn't have a width greater than zero and a height greater than zero because this is just an empty 
uh, variable here that we're trying to read in because we're not able to do it. But here, if we're able to do it, it will just run it perfectly. Now we're specified the whole path to this file. Now we can run it and it will run our code perfectly as we expected. So we don't need to debug our code for several hours. As you, as you guys have said in the comment section, you've been sitting there for one hour just debugging your code. And then you just find out that it's just your path that you haven't specified uh, correctly from the start. So make sure you do that. It's the most common error. The, the video I got the most comments on with this error here is actually like here in the camera calibration where we load in several images to the script. So basically here, I'm just going to show you the folder um, where we actually like have these images. So these are all calibration images. We can just run through them. So these are all the images that we have in our calibration. So here we're just going to run through them. We're just loading in all these images here in the calibration script. And then we just run the camera calibration uh, so we can calibrate our camera and do on distortion on our images to get better results. Again, if you want to check that video out, it's, it's actually really good to know about how you can do camera calibration. Definitely check that video out. We go over all the lines of code. It's just a Python script. Uh, we run the Python script on an image folder and then we just calibrate the camera uh, that we capture the images with of our chessboard. So these are the images here that we're going to load in. Then we're going to just go down here and use a glob here to load in the images. Again, we just specify the whole uh, whole directory here or like the whole folder, uh, the path to the folder where all the images are. So we have it inside my uh, user directory and then we have it on my desktop and in the calibration folder. And then we're just going to load in all the PNGs that we have in that folder. So this is basically all it does. But if you're not specifying the path correctly, if we're just deleting an end here, for example, it can find the path here for a glob and we can act like read in the images and then we'll get the most common error uh, we can get. So here, this is the most common error. P people again, they just copy paste this one here, but the most common error is n images is, is greater, is not greater than zero. So here we get an ass is assertion failed. So the number of images that we have in our Python script is not greater than zero. This is really intuitive. It should be like n images. Maybe not that intuitive again, but it is actually like number of images. So the images, the number of images is not greater than zero, which should just trigger trigger something in your mind that that the images is actually like not loaded in. And if it's not loading in, if, if it's not loaded in, it's actually like just because the path here is not correct. So you need to make sure that this path here is correct. And if you're working with relative paths, make sure that you have the correct folder structure. And if you just want to make sure that you load them incorrectly and you don't need like something really like fancy or something like that. You can just specify the whole path here uh, to the folder or like to the images that you want to load in. So here we're just going to put an end here again. We have the correct path. So now we will be able to load in the images and run this Python script as we can see here. So now we're calibrating our camera. This is just an example to show you the most common error. So this is the most common error. Over 90% of the errors I've seen on my channel. Again, I'm, I'm just going to say it again is this error here because it's just really common. It's really easy to fix and I'll probably save you guys a ton of times out there debugging your code just because you haven't specified the path or the files that you want to load into your Python script correctly or any other programming language. It could also be C++ if you do inbreed with C++, Python and so on. It doesn't really matter, but this is the result that you get. Make sure to specify the path correctly. So thank you guys for watching this video here. Again, remember the subscribe button and notification under the video. And also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. Also make sure to drop a comment down in the comment section if you're one of the guys that have been caught by this error here. You've just been sitting debugging, uh, wondering like why does my code work? What can I do? And so on. And then in the end, you just find out that you haven't specified the path correctly. You're just feeling really dumb because this is a really easy um, error to fix. And you've just been sitting there you just think that you're really dumb and then it is just like a small change in the path and then your code just runs perfectly and then you've just been wasting your time. So it happens. It always happens in coding where you just debug for several hours. You just find a small bug or like a small error. You change it and you just feel really, really dumb uh, by spending time on something that easy. So if you're interested in the computer-based tutorial, I'll link to it up here or else I'll see you next week, guys. Bye for now.